Hey everyone, welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today we want to show you our most affordable DI purification system. This is a water filtering purification system to use for water fed pole work. This is a half cubic foot DI resin tank. It's very easy to load up, very affordable, only costs $500 Canadian, that's around $390 US. It comes complete with a TDS meter for you to test the quality of the water and funnel to make refilling the tank very easy. The tank comes preloaded. It has a ball valve that will be included. We always recommend whenever you're using a DI system that you don't need to use the full pressure of tap, tap water. So instead of having this dial fully on whenever you're using it, turn it at about the halfway mark. That will stop from wasting water, stop from splashing around too much, as well as prolonging the life of your filter. And whenever you're not using it, you turn the ball valve fully off. So I described this tank as a half cubic foot DI vessel. So what does that mean? Well, do you see these white bags that are behind me up on the shelf? Those are bags of DI resin, and they're in half cubic foot measurements. Usually you see a lot of suppliers, they'll sell a full cubic foot of DI resin, we like to sell these half cubic foot DI bags because it's perfect for refilling one of these. Those half cubic foot bags are also perfect for people who have like multi-stage systems where they may not need a full cubic foot of DI resin over the course of an entire season. So it's best to be able to buy a smaller amount so it won't go bad just sitting at home. So here's a close up of the bag. They're vacuum packed. It's a half cubic foot of DI resin. It is virgin resin, it's not regenerated. In other words, it's top quality, it's first generation. And we're gonna show you now how easy it is to refill one of these DI tanks. Just to let you know, when the TDS meter here, when you get a reading of 10 or above coming out of this tank, that's when you know that more minerals are being, uh, they're not being held back, so they're being let loose into the water coming out, so they could cause some spotting. And obviously, the higher you go above 10, uh, the worse it is. And just a quick point, if you do find yourself in a situation where you're at a job and you are hitting around 10, and maybe you have about an hour's uh, work left to do, you don't have to pack it in for the day just because you're at 10. What we do recommend, though, is that you just rinse more. Just make sure that you get a good rinse, full coverage over the window. Uh, I've heard people getting good results as high as 20, even 30 parts per million uh, measurement on the TDS meter. So now on to the, the uh, refilling portion. Okay, so here are the steps for refilling the half cubic foot DI tank. After you've been getting a reading of above 10 parts per million, and you know that the resin that's inside here is no longer good, what you want to do is you want to open up the tank head and dump out the old resin. So to open up this, you'll twist it off in a counterclockwise fashion. When it's fully loose, the head will come up and the riser should come up with it. On the off chance that the riser stays inside there, it's not broken. It is just, it is removable, the riser. There is an O-ring inside there to make a seal. Just pull out the riser and put it back in. And since I have this out here, I'm going to talk to you about how this actually works. So water comes through the input side where the ball valve is. There's a little strainer there to catch any debris. The water will go down, seep through the DI resin media. When it gets down to the bottom, there's slits in the bottom of this riser. So the purified water will then go through these slits, up through the riser, and then come through out through the, uh, the output side. Okay? It's as simple as that. And so like I said, when the DI resin is shot, it's no longer doing its job. You can just dump it out. It is non-toxic. So it can go out, in most cases, in your regular waste. If you have any concerns, you might want to contact your city or town and see uh, how they would best suggest that you dispose of the wasted uh, resin. It is plastic, um, unfortunately. So, but like I said, it is non-toxic. So it usually can go out with just a regular waste. So after dumping out the old, you might want to flush it out with a little bit of water. Then we'll put the, the riser and head aside. 
So I talked earlier about having a half cubic foot of resin. Usually it comes vacuum packed like this. It's not always vacuum packed, but when it is, it's really quite handy. And I talked earlier too about you getting a riser, or sorry, a funnel for refilling. So that basically the small side would just sit inside there. And so you take your half cubic foot bag, cut the corner, open that up a little bit, and then you'll just want to slowly dump in the resin. As the tank starts to get pretty full, there's a natural buildup here just in the top. I'm going to give this a bit of a shake. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll even give it a gentle tap on the ground. That's so that the resin media settles down. I can see that I can put a little bit more in. There's actually more in this bag that, that will fit inside the, the tank. And the reason why that is, is even though this is a half cubic foot, it's not a half cubic foot square. It is cylindrical. So there, you know, technically there is more resin in a half cubic foot bag that will actually fit in here. So with the rest of this, you can just seal up that bag, keep the air from coming out, and you can use it on your next refill. But one thing to note, I always like to fill this just below the thread lines, and I'll show you a picture of that. The reason why is when you push the head and riser back in, it's going to disperse the resin, and it's actually going to rise up just a little bit. And if you overfill this before you even put this back in, what will happen is the resin will come up in and around the thread area, and that could cause problems with the, putting this back on. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to go down through the center, eyeball it as best as possible, and then just screw this back on. Now sometimes if you overfill this, what will happen is you might uh, not get it straight, might uh, go off to one side or the other, and you feel like you're having a hard time threading it. Don't try to force the thread. If, it, if you're forcing it, you're going to wreck the threads on the head. Just undo it and just bring the riser and everything out and go back in straight. You just want to hand tighten. You don't want to do any tighter than what you can do just by your hand. You don't need a wrench or anything. And this tank is ready to go. Just keep the, uh, the on off on the ball valve to the off position and the end cap, this little end cap that we include on the output, keep that on. And whenever you're done using um, the tank, you can also leave the water in there. Some people think you have to drain it. Resin needs to stay wet if you're going to keep it uh, you know, lasting a long time. It doesn't have to be necessarily full of water, but you don't have to drain it at the same time. Anyway, this DI tank is ready to go. As you can see, it's not that difficult. It might seem challenging at first, but it actually is a pretty quick process. Once you get uh, good at it, Shouldn't take you any more than about 10 minutes from start to finish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.